This is the story of Fallout 4 in three minutes. Let's begin. In the year 2077, the world looks very different. Instead of focusing on microtechnology and transistors, scientists pursue vacuum tubes, nuclear technology, and sweet, sweet 50s googie aesthetic. Cars run on nuclear reactors, and autonomous robots assist people in the home. All is well except for the impending doom of nuclear fallout. Mega Corporation Vault Tech creates numerous vaults as fallout shelters across the country intended to protect humanity in case of nuclear war. However, Vault Tech, being a mega corporation and thus evil, actually set up most of these vaults as sinister experiments to see how humans respond to a variety of controlled environments. My personal favorite being Vault 77. The day the bombs fall, a mother and father in Sanctuary Hills, a stereotypical suburban neighborhood, watch their faces distorted in a mirror like some sort of horror movie. Aside from the freakish face distortion, they enjoy a seemingly normal day with their son, Sean, until a Vault Tech spokesperson arrives at their door to confirm their place in Vault 111, their convenient neighborhood fallout shelter. Almost coincidentally, the news announces bombs are dropping across the country, so the lovely little family flees to the vault. Once inside, they're told to go into the cryo tubes to wait for nuclear winter to pass. Sometime later, the wife awakens only to watch helplessly as her husband is killed and her child is kidnapped. She, the sole survivor, falls back into cryostasis. Eventually, she snaps out of cryo sleep to find everyone else in the vault died due to technical failure. Alone, she sets out to track down her husband's killer. The sole survivor finds Codsworth, the family's old robotic assistant, who informs her she's been gone for over 200 years. The ruins of what was once New England are now known as the Commonwealth. After coming to terms with being asleep for two centuries, she sets off for Concord in search of more survivors. She saves everyone's favorite good boy, Dog Meat, as well as Preston Garvey, the last of the Minutemen. The sole survivor sets off for Diamond City, a town formed of the ruins of Fenway Park. She learns of the Institute, a secret organization that creates synths, synthetic robots virtually identical to humans. The Institute is said to be replacing humans throughout the Commonwealth. They seek out Detective Nick Valentine, who is apparently one of the first models of synths created. Nick agrees to help the sole survivor find her son. They track down Conrad Kellogg, the man who kidnapped Sean. They kill Kellogg and steal a cybernetic implant. They use the implant to search through his memories, revealing Sean is at the Institute. Several factions reveal themselves. The Brother to Steal, the anti-synth organization focused on recovering old world tech, and the Railroad, a pro-synth organization dedicated to giving rescued synths new lives. The sole survivor seeks out an ex-Institute scientist turned super mutant who guides her into the Institute. She works with the Railroad to decode the teleportation code with one of the factions to build a teleporter. After some science fiction bullshit, they arrive at the Institute where they beat Sean, who's now 60 years old and goes by father. He explains that the Institute kidnapped him years ago for his pre-war DNA. Sean is pleased his mother found him now because he's dying of cancer, that'll spoil a reunion, and wants her to take over for him as leader of the Institute when he dies. At this point, the sole survivor can take one of several paths. Path one, she agrees to work with the Minutemen. They create and protect an ungodly amount of settlements across the Commonwealth until re-establishing their base at Fort Independence. The Institute needs to gain a massive firefight only to fail. The Minutemen work with the sole survivor to nuke the Institute for credit. Or, path two, the sole survivor collaborates with the Railroad to free sense within the Institute. She works with the sense to start an insurrection from within. The Brotherhood of Steel attacks and they have to take them out. Finally, the Railroad launches an assault on the Institute and nukes their ass. More credits. Maybe. Path three, she decides to work with the Brotherhood of Steel and just be a dick to everyone. The sole survivor takes out the Railroad for being pro synth then she coordinates an all-out assault on the Institute. Then they build a giant robot called Liberty Prime and storm the Institute. They nuke it all to hell and roll credits. But that's not all. It could also go down like this. Path four. The sole survivor works with the Institute to exact a purge across the Commonwealth. They exterminate the railroad and then they have to destroy the Brotherhood of Steel for, uh, science. In the aftermath, Sean and his mother enjoy a nice family moment. Aw, roll credits. And that's the story of Fallout 4 in three minutes. Now that you're all filled up on endings, check out our other videos on Arcade Cloud. Let us know if you're as excited as we are for Fallout 76. <coughs> and tell us what other stories you'd like to see in three minutes in the comments below. Bye-bye.